<laughs> Hello. We are here in sunny, beautiful Conception Harbor. All right, well, it's not sunny, it's raining, but we are here with this beautiful backdrop. Like what says Newfoundland, more than a sunken ship. I mean, really. This is one of my uh, favorite places to walk because of this and the little fishing shack that you just saw there, which is sliding into the ocean. Um, so today we're here to announce the winner of the second week of my one month contest giveaway. And uh, yeah, this is pretty exciting. So I'm just gonna tell you what happened last week. Trudy Spurl of Angus, Ontario. She's actually from Newfoundland, but she's living in Angus and working at Borden, Ontario, where we used to live when Besh was posted to Borden. We lived there for seven years, so kind of cool that she she's there. And now we're going to be sending out this print of night owls to her. And this is one of my paintings of Gower Street, downtown St. John's, Newfoundland. And uh, so we're sending this off to her. So this was the week one prize of my canvas print giveaway. And this week, which is what I'm going to announce <laughs> today, uh, is going to be a print of Newfoundland to me, canvas, ready to hang. So we'll announce that in a minute. And next week is the space between of downtown St. John's. And then the final <laughs> grand prize on Mother's Day. It's going to be a print, which is actually bigger than this. So I obviously didn't do my homework and get the print ordered from my printer here in St. John's to get the 10 by 31 inch. But if you, if you can. Imagine if you will. That's right. It's about that big. <laughs> but for now, it's the small canvas print. So anyhow, that's the recap on what's happening. All right, so now we're gonna do, well, I say we're gonna do the draw, we already did. So this print of Newfoundland to me, which is downtown St. John's, and I painted this when I lived in, well, when we lived in, actually when Besh was in Borden, my cameraman, when we lived in uh, Stainer, Ontario, and I have my studio in Collingwood, Ontario, and that's actually where I started my artistry full-time, thanks to Besh pushing me all these years and saying, why do, are you working for other people when you have this talent? And I'm like, because I don't want to be a starving artist, because that's all I had ever heard from, you know, out and about. I'm sure you've heard of it before. So I was afraid to do art full-time. And finally... The right opportunity came up and I had some time to decide what I really wanted to do and then I opened up my studio in the front window of beautiful Cafe Chartreuse in Collingwood, Ontario and being away from Newfoundland and not living at home I tried well I didn't try how do I say it I was almost afraid to paint Newfoundland because I didn't want to be homesick because when I left I was like okay if I'm leaving Newfoundland I'm gonna be happy where I am and I'm not gonna be pining for Newfoundland so uh, but in order to keep that going I decided I'm not gonna paint a lot of Newfoundland to make sure it doesn't like stir up stuff in me and make me miss it too much but then one day I was like, okay, I can't take it anymore. And I had studio mates. We had a open public studio and it was called the Upstairs Gallery. And I shared the studio with maybe four or five other fantastic artists. And a lot of them had connections to Newfoundland, which how does that work out, right? Uh, even one of my studio mates, Sue Miller, um, ended up buying a place here in Newfoundland and she comes every summer and we hang out. So lots of Newfoundland connections. And so people were painting Newfoundland and it was uh, like outports, gray, kind of like this, and you know, like stilts and 
old shacks and fishing villages, but because I'm from St. John's, I was like, okay, that is Newfoundland for sure. But I was thinking Newfoundland to me is big old churches because being from St. John's, now I lived all over Newfoundland, but being from St. John's, like just walking downtown with my parents and stuff, and they, we'd go on tours of historic buildings because they're into uh, the history and all that kind of stuff. And just the old rock walls, wrought iron fences. So one day I was just like, oh, okay, fine. And Besh had captured this photograph when we were home visiting one time, and I just saw it and I was like, oh my God, that's Newfoundland to me. And it was sort of spring, everything was just starting to bloom, and the sky is blue, and I was like, yes, this is it. I'm actually gonna paint it and feel good about it. So I painted this in the front window of the restaurant and it just fell out of me, came to life. And so this is Newfoundland to me. And it's actually bright, sunny skies, so maybe not typical of St. John's entirely, but anyhow. So I really love this painting. This is the Anglican Cathedral on uh, Cathedral Street. Yeah, right. Well named. Uh, so anyhow, so this is week two prize of my four week contest. So we still have two more prizes to give away. But for today, we are giving away this print. All right. So without further ado. Drum roll, please. I actually have a drum roll this time. Thank you. The winner is Mary Lynn North. And she is in Beta Vera, Newfoundland. So this print is going to her. And I wanted to say thank you to everybody for playing along. And we'll keep going. I'll do another announcement next week of the contest winner and Mother's Day. Like I said, we will be giving away this print of Blowing in the Wind. And this is one of my most popular paintings. So it's coming. All right, Mary Lynn, congratulations. We'll be sending this out to you and uh, yeah. So enjoy your print. Thank you for everybody playing along and thanks for the nice comments and thanks for sharing and apparently you can turn on notifications for when I do live videos again. I don't know how you do it, but it's in there somewhere. Uh, and then when I announce the next winner, it'll be a live video for this. All right, so congratulations to Mary Lynn North. Thank you for playing along. Thanks to everybody else. Love you guys, bye. Psst.